Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here, and I've had many questions on how do I record, how do I edit, uh, how do I make my videos in general, recording-wise, uh, recording my screen, recording my, my camera, my microphone. And uh, I've tried uh, in the past, uh, multiple times actually, creating a video showing exactly step-by-step step what do I do to create a video, but every time I made it, I wasn't really satisfied about it. Um, I, I've I've always noticed that they were really long and they were getting a little bit too in-depth, a little too advanced and they were not that easy to follow so every time I ended up deleting them so I kind of gave up on that idea. And I've decided to make a, a few short videos uh, highlighting just a few things I have in my videos uh, that I think, you know, that I get questions about and uh, in this case I've had this question a few times on Skype as well. Uh, of people asking me how to make the lower third that I have in my video and if you don't know what a lower third is it's where it's usually uh, some text that appears at the lower left uh, but it can be anywhere on the video it doesn't really matter that pretty much tells you the main subject the main idea or maybe the main actor or, uh, or person that you see on the video so um, you see that a lot whether it's on TV or, or on the internet it doesn't really matter but it's it's very common and in my videos I use this uh, purple uh, dark-ish um, uh, lower third that you usually see seeing kind of the, the main title or the title of the video. Now I want to tell you guys how you do this. Now it does take a while to make it uh, but luckily once you've done it you can just copy paste it from a ScreenFlow project to another ScreenFlow project. So we will be using ScreenFlow and that is the application I always use to edit practically all my videos uh, that I have on this channel at least. Uh, so highly recommend you use it if you want to make some professional looking uh, internet videos. Uh, it's a very good program and has a lot of possibilities. So uh, before we start off, this is by the way my look of the week episode 42 video uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna make it on this one. But a few things uh, you might wanna, wanna, wanna check out uh, before starting uh, here is first off my timeline is rather it has these small, it's a small timeline as you can see all the clips are are pretty small because by default I think they're this big and you can even make them even larger there you go that's even larger I tend to always have them on small you can change them using these arrows here or you can just move them around like this uh, but if you want to have it a small like me by default you can go in the preferences of screen flow and just go in the uh, the timeline tab here and go to default track size uh, small whether uh, rather rather than regular or even large so that's one thing and the second thing to zoom in and zoom out on your canvas here you can command uh, plus or minus so it zooms in zooms out it's, it's really handy especially if you want to make your timeline much larger you make might want to have your canvas much smaller so uh, that depends what kind of stuff you're working on I guess so in this case we're gonna make it roughly this size and uh, I'm going to have a, a, a wide background in the back uh, in the background here, so we can better see what we're doing, um, just so it's more clear. And I'm going to zoom in on my timeline like so. And let's start. Um, first off, I start off with an annotation clip, which you can find here. This is, by the way, only in ScreenFlow 3.0. It's not available in uh, previous versions. And then just simply uh, take the rectangle one. <coughs> Sorry about that. And uh, draw a rectangle on the on the canvas here. Now. Uh, roughly make it the size you want it to be and we do not want an outline so I'll remove that and choose the color so I usually had it on purple I think but it doesn't really matter what color you want it I mean it can literally be anything uh, I might go for this turquoise or cyan so there you go just click away and then go have your annotation clip here so I'm just gonna drag this all the way down here and then we're gonna add our text um, so let's add a text box here and this is where our text is going to be for the title of the video for example so in this case it's the look of the week oops let me make that capital as well 42 you might want to have it a little larger it's up to you uh, of course you can just do that by changing the font size um, but you know you might you don't want to have it too large that it takes up the whole screen but uh you want to kind of position it to where you want it and then go back to the annotation clip and kind of make uh, put it next to it now here you want to uh, you want to resize or the text or the rectangle it doesn't really matter 
so that it, it fits nicely next to each other. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the or make the canvas a uh, the timeline sorry a bit smaller and increase the size of the canvas to uh, be able exactly to resize. Now you'll notice these you have these little yellow lines that guide you and they can be really annoying because they automatically snap to it when you resize so to remove that you can all uh, or use control N I think it is or you can just go into the view and then snapping you can disable that so now you'll notice once I disable you don't have any snapping going on so that can be really handy especially for this uh, so then you want to resize it um, by the way you can also use the uh, the arrows on your keyboard to do pixel by pixel to literally, literally be very precise on how you resize your uh, your rectangle here so as you can see now I think it's about uh, good actually uh, already it's it's well sized now you can move this around of course and there you go I think that's a pretty good size um, and of course you can always change the color uh, later in, in this these options here I think you have to double click it and I just want to quickly interrupt the video here because I don't actually show this in the video but to change the color of the annotation clip here uh, don't double click on it on the uh, timeline but double click on it on your uh, screen so on your canvas if you double click it you'll see that you'll have the little scale all of a sudden that appears and uh, this the skill tool and of course you can also change the color here to whatever you prefer um, so you can change it anytime any video you can change it for example every video you want a slightly different color so you can uh, just uh, quickly do that so that's I just want to uh, quickly add that in the video and uh, sorry for interrupting let's just go on with the tutorial we pretty much have the main idea here now uh, usually I also animate it a bit because it's kind of dull or boring when you just like it appears like that on the screen so uh, what I do is I think I animated this first and uh, kind of rotated at the same time or something like that so what I did for the text is I added a start transition here which was, uh, let's see, side wipe, I think, or swipe, there you go, which kind of makes it appear like that. And you can also do that with this. Uh, on the annotation clip, I only did uh, a normal cross dissolve, this one. So you kind of have this going on. And at the same time, I rotated them. So so you, ha you want to make sure that you have uh, you want to make sure that this stays in, in position here so what you do is you create um, what I did is you create a video clip a video action sorry on for example your text and then you add it uh, you go with your your cursor on your timeline you go before it and then you you rotate it in, in whatever position you want uh, that doesn't really matter but uh, what I did in this case was rotate it I think uh, in the Y, um, I don't remember if it was like this or like this. Let's just do it like this for 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 this tutorial here. And you'll notice that now, once I scroll through, it's gonna come out like this. Um, and you want it, of course, to have the effect at the same time. So you want to have this video effect. Drag it over the transition here, uh, so it kind of does the transition at the same time uh, of rotating so it does something let me see hmm what if I make this transition larger yeah there you can see on the edge it kind of let me let me let me change this um, this transition here by double clicking on it in properties you can actually choose the angle then I want the other angle, so up here, which I think is an angle of 3, if I'm correct, um, which doesn't really make sense, but anyway, it, it does this instead of going the other way, so it's a different angle, it's inverted now, and I kind of want it to uh, rotate at the same time, so something like that, no, maybe a little later, so as you can see, you have to time it in a way that uh, you like it there we go that's about it it kind of rotates at the same time it kind of comes out of the the blue part here I think that looks pretty cool in my opinion uh, but that that's really up to you on how you want it and how long you want it to take and stuff like that so you might also want to animate uh, this uh, part or this rectangle here 
And I think I'm going to do that. So let's add a video action to our annotation clip and go back in the timeline. And then I think I'm going to do the Y rotation, just rotate it slightly like so. So just time it like you want it and eventually you'll find exactly what you want or at least roughly what you want. Now remember the point of this tutorial is to be able to make a, a lower third only in screen flow. So of course if you have other programs uh, it's much easier in general. So you might want to look into that but I think I have what I want here. If I just time it properly. So something like this. Maybe even later. There we go. So I think this is pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, looks pretty professional. And that's how I made my lower third in only uh, screen flow. So I know it's a little tricky to follow, but hopefully uh, you kind of got it. It's 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 rather simple. It's just that it's a lot of of of, of preciseness and stuff like that. But it, it's pretty much an annotation clip and a text uh, box. Uh, next to each other and then you just add some animations to it uh, to make it look cool uh, as as ending transition you might want to add a, a ending transition here for example um, for both of them now by the way do remember to put your snapping back on by going to view and snapping so it's easier for you to edit all the stuff um, but you might want to add a transition to both of these and maybe a simple cross dissolve like this is fine in my opinion I think it looks good enough and still looks uh, quite professional so now if I remove this white background here uh, we can finally check out how it looks on the actual video so as you can see bomb look of the week uh, episode 42 so that's how you're gonna see my video or that's how you probably might already have seen my video on uh, YouTube uh, look of the week episode 42 that's how I make my lower third. If you want to, uh, if you want me to make other tutorials on screen flow as well, uh, on more, you know, certain things that you really want to know how I, how I make them, um, be sure to comment down below for suggestions. And I'm very sorry if a lot of my viewers do not watch, um, do do not sorry uh, make videos themselves or do not use screen flow themselves. So I'm sorry if it's less relevant to you, these videos, uh, but I'll definitely put in the title, you know, screen flow tutorial. Uh, and if you see that, if you're not interested by it, then uh, just don't watch it. So uh, that's it for this video. I thank you a lot for watching. And again, be sure to leave some suggestions in uh, the comments uh, to let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.